three, three after eight, April 5th, 2022. I'm going to call the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals to order. Quorum present. And uh, we'll go down to our only agenda item here for today review of the special permit decision for 477 Greenfield Road. Mary Clayton Jones, uh, map 79, lot three. Can you do a roll call, please? Uh, yes. John Staberski. Here. Uh, Bernie Sadowski. Here. Robert Decker. Here. Adam Sokolowski, present. Alex. I'm here. Okay. I've reviewed the uh, special permit. Um, and the uh, documents, and I am uh, not seeing anything um, that would would make me not want to sign it today or send it back. So, if any other members have anything administratively they find as a red flag, please speak up. I didn't notice anything wrong. Okay, thanks, Rob. No, I think everything looks good. Um, whoever wrote it, good job. Yep, whoever drafted that did an excellent job. Is that you, Jennifer? Nope, Casey did it. Oh, okay. even better. Move, we authorize the chairman to, to sign the necessary paperwork and uh, send it on its way. Okay. All right, someone want to second that? Second. Second by John, okay. All those in favor of me signing it? Roll call, John? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, Bernie? Yes. You don't need me. Okay, I'll sign it. And then- um, Record thanks. yourself as yes. I recorded myself as yes. And I um, guess I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. We have nothing else on the agenda. Anybody else got anything? Wait, wait a second, Jennifer has uh, her hand raised. I just had um, a comment to for the board to like think about is that um, yes, we need to go through the criteria, but before that, it's also not for this project for anything in general is be whether or not the board is going to um, if they think that the use is part of the, I don't think I'm saying it right, as part of the zoning bylaw. So if the use is permitted in that zone prior to then also going through the criteria. Well, that may be true with the exception of Dollar General because of the square footage of the building, it required those findings. Right. But so it's not always saying, true. Like, you, but you will go through them, but... Um, Okay, no, I see what you're saying. Jennifer, you know, I'm not sure that that's our charge. Uh, I think the use is really a building inspector decision. I don't know if that's within, I, I'd have to look at our, at the zoning bylaw and maybe we need an opinion of council out of that as if that's something within the uh, purview of our board. Those findings are all necessary to issue. Yeah, that finding is required to issue the permit. Oh no, no, we... I'm not saying that you don't look at that. What I'm saying is, is that it's it's before that. Like before yes, that, right. you have to go through that criteria. Definitely, I'm saying that. But if the board wants to deny a permit because that, you know, it. Because they can appeal the decision, right? So if the board doesn't feel that it meets the bylaw for having a particular use in a particular zone, then it's, I believe it's in their purview to deny the permit based on that. And then the person can come back with, or they have the choice then, and that's what I was kind of trying to say the other night, to withdraw, the board can say, you can withdraw your application and come back if they want it as a variance or the board, and if they don't want to do that, the board then has the opportunity to de deny the special permit request. 
I'm just saying that there's a different, there's another way to think about it than to just approve a permit and go through the criteria. You think this kind of, so, uh, you know, our bylaw outlines this, the six factors. You think there's another overriding factor that we need to ascertain whether it's a permitted use within the zone. Yes. And that's, so that's, so that's almost like a, not a, a seventh criteria, but more of you need to make that threshold decision before you get into whether it's in the best interest of the town. Correct. Yep. The Correct. Correct. Okay. I, you know, <clears throat> that, that is, I don't think that's in our bylaw, but it might be in the state statute. So somebody needs decisional we, stuff. Yeah. I, it just sits in my gut from my past experience that you, but just think about it. We'll research it. <laughs> um, be, because it is, I believe it's in the purview of the, of the Zoning Board of Appeals to deny a permit because it does not meet the zoning requirements of, you know, the, the use, the permitted uses, correct? So, so I insisted we take out the treatment rooms from the this from the what she was asking because right. it isn't allowed in that district. Our zoning bylaw has a lot of gaps when it comes to uses in different zones. So, in my experience, it's been that we. Um, find the closest use in our bylaw to fit whatever it is that's happening. So, so Jennifer, just uh, for argument's sake, uh, how does that fit in with the building inspector making a threshold decision or evaluation that it, it is a permitted use or it is not a permitted use? So the, the building inspector says, yes, that's permitted. Do you think we are uh, we have the power to overrule him? Yes. Uh, in a special permit uh, you, venue, yeah, we're, we're his appellate board. Yeah. So you you do, but the thing is, is that he will defend the town. His job is to 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 give you and like that's part of part of our pre-submittal meetings that Bob and I do with the applicants. So we meet. She tells me. Um, I'll just use this particular case. I say to the applicant, your card says foot care by nurses. I said, so by me looking at your business card, I say it's not permitted. You're going to have to prove to me and to the building commissioner, our zoning enforcement officer, that it's more of an agricultural educational use. So she says, absolutely it is. We're doing this for, you know, the lavender and the fields and the walking paths. And okay, so I'm telling you, because you're the applicant, you're bringing me this application. If this is what you want to do, and that's what you're going to present to the board. And the building commissioner says, yes, those uses are what um, will be allowed in that zone then yes, put your application in and go before the board. So I think also we need to, as Mr. Staberski pointed out the other night, that if it's de minimis, it doesn't count. And the bylaws should say that, you know, it's hard and fast. De minimis is, is not necessarily de minimis. It's not allowed. And uh, if you're gonna change the bylaw, you gotta define that because Mr. Spursky made a strong argument that what the treatment rooms were going to be of a de minimis use. And I understand what de minimis is, and uh, it is a use, right? And, uh, and, and it's that not exclusive, and, uh, and what have you. And I, so, anyway, I think no, when we, that's when what we you get the zoning that. bylaws tweaked a little bit, we should have it pointed out that de minimis is de minimis. And what is de minimis? Okay, if it's 1% or an eighth of a percent or whatever it is, all right? But as far as I know, if it's, it's not allowed unless, it's, uh, unless the bylaw says that small de minimis use is allowed. 
Well, it's there's a lot of things that need to be spelled out, and with a good plan. Well, that's why I or, spent the time to sit at the planning board meeting last night and bring up the fact that we need to change the zoning bylaws and allow more uses as a special permit so we can take care of these unique circumstances. Yes, I agree. And I mean, it's also, there's things like for agricultural uses, and this is all things that, you know, a planner well, I mean, um, somebody that well, would be helping is going to say about an agricultural use that you need a certain percentage of acreage or a certain yield. Well, the, the agricultural exemptions talk about uh, five acres. They talk about so much money to, in order to get uh, 61 AUs, and et cetera, et cetera. A lot of those parameters are set up. And they could all be referred to in the zoning bylaw. But I don't know if you want it. The farmers are going to look forward to that. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for the insight. You're welcome. And uh, we don't have any other agenda items. So I'm going to entertain a motion oh, to. I have a question. So, what, did, what, what came out last night, Mr. Decker? Well, well, I brought up the fact that I waited for public comment you know, so that um, I could make my comment without interrupting their proceedings. Well, it actually was given at the wrong time because the hearing, and I got sort of in trouble for that because the hearing was open and that public comment was for the hearing. There would have uh, been- I thought it was a public comment that was on the agenda because I thought you finished your proceeding was that. So no. anyway, that's why I put my hand up then. I know, I know, it's okay. But anyways, okay. nothing was, he said his comment, they made note of it, they put it into their minutes and they're gonna bring it up Again, at another planning the agenda for the next meeting, I think. Yes. Right. So basically, what it was is we need to. My position is the residential agricultural district, as well as the CBR district, that some of those items that are in the table of contents that say you can't do it at all need to be gone back and looked at as to whether or not they could qualify for some of the in a case by case scenario something could get a special permit and, and what have you. That's my point. And so you, the, the zoning board would have some flexibility uh, to allow it. Like if the permit was asked for the way they should have asked, they should have asked the other night for a zeriance or a special permit, whatever is applicable. And for a finding that what the proposed use wasn't going to be any more detriment other than the current non-conforming use. Right. And, and that's the way it should have been constructed, in my opinion. I'm not a lawyer, okay? But that's the way I look at it. So I think if the planning board wants to go back and take it, I put, I started the fire and hopefully they'll go through it and look at it. You can't even put a doctor's office anywhere in town other than in a commercial district. It might be allowed in the tourism district though, I don't know. They allow everything in the tourism district. Ah, uh, all right. Including massage parlors, et cetera, et cetera, right? Hotels. You can't put a hotel anywhere else in town except there. Am I correct? Cluster yeah. development. Don't you know. know. I don't want to debate it all on, on Zoom. All right. All right. So thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Move to adjourn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I made a motion to adjourn that's been seconded by Mr. We can vote or vote. take comments on the motion to adjourn, or someone says the motion to adjourn is not debatable. But I don't believe it is. Just vote, just roll call. Yeah. John? Yes. Bernie? Yes. Bob? Yes. Alex? Yes. Me? Unanimous. Thank you for your time, everybody. Thank you Appreciate very much. It.